Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is your host, Alan Paul, with a very late anomaly mission. Very sorry we didn't get to this on Friday. Uh, we did a live stream Friday and uh, it went pretty well, but we didn't get a chance to do the anomaly mission. And when I got to it on Saturday, for some reason it wasn't showing up properly. So, we're going to do it right now. Let's go ahead and head out. Grab one of my classic solar ships. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Looks like we're going to be eliminating hazardous flora, flora, and as you can see, there's only about nine and three-quarter hours to go. So let's get this going on our very little way. Fallen Traveler's Log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout the location. To scout, to locate the hazardous flora. Now, the best part about this is, is that we happen to be right next to a cave. 
so while we can go into other areas, maybe as this floor as well. You're protected from the elements. And all you need to do is look for the hazardous flora that resides here. That, as you know, is very dangerous if it uh, if you walk into their gases. But guess what? See? There they are right there. One. Two. We've already got two down. Let's look for a few more. This looks like a nice halfway decent cave system. Oh, one right there. Three. Four. Five. And that is the best way to find it, is in these caves. Let's see if there's any further flora here. I really don't like, I agree, I really don't like the, the cape graphics anymore. They're a little bit too flappy for my liking. I like the way it was before. I don't know why you had to fix something that wasn't broken, if you know what I mean. It's a common thing for technical support. If it ain't, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But they decided to fix something that wasn't broken, and this is what happens. So what we'll do is we're going to look around, and if there is anything above us, it should appear. That's a little busy little place, isn't it? Ah, that heralds us to be able to go back outside and check things out. Alright, looks like we've reached the end of the cave, and we aren't finding any more hazardous flora in here. So, let's exit the show. And check out here on the edges, too, because besides the snapper right there, there's usually a lot of others. We'll go ahead and take that. But sometimes there's others just hanging out out here on the edge of the caves. These guys are something else too, you gotta be careful of them, but very interesting creatures. And you know what, this place is barren enough that you can discover a lot of different plants here. So we're already at nine, we just need one more at this point. And if it isn't showing up on your radar like it says too weak to for a distance estimate, just simply go someplace else real quick sit down and look and then the next thing you know you see some have already appeared look at that see it just couldn't find any because they hadn't quite adjusted themselves yet well that's good wow that's one mighty little beastie there isn't he absolutely phenomenal interesting so we have completed the mission now i always say my famous words hey does anyone know where we parked Let's see, looking around and not seeing my ship anywhere. Looks like it's right there. There we go. Excellent. So all in all, very simple, quick mission. Hey, and this is one of those planets that has these guys on it. These bug-like creatures are great to get as a pet. So, hey, little side note here. If you can get one of those pets, good for you. I'm going to show you what they look like. I have one in my uh, inventory. This guy right here. And if you ride them, I would give you back the love. Just a little heads up. And you steer just using your ASWD left and right, and they will always be going forward. But watch this. If you hit your fast button, look how fast these guys travel. They are excellent for scouring landscaping or something. So, just a little heads up. Get yourself one of those pets. They're the most handy pets I've ever had the pleasure of having. So, dismiss them. Bring them out of there. Okay, a little side note. Look at that. Looks like I have a hazardous floor right there. I could have grabbed it already. There's probably, yep, another one right over there. Let's see? I already had seven of them. Got just by being right here on the edge. Well, anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and head out of here. Return to the to receive our reward. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the expedition. There are more videos to come in the future.
not sure if I'm going to have a series of expedition videos other than the ones that I've been doing live on Friday nights. But catch me every Friday night. Every Friday night I'll be doing a live run. Um, I may be pushing it off to about 6 You know what? Well, before I turn in the uh, mission, I should be able to get it now. There it is. I can finally get it. I couldn't get it before. For some reason, it was blocked out. Now I've got it. And we're going to check that out here in just a second. Uh, All right. Complete the mission. We've got our 1800 Quicksilver, a War Piper Core, and... And that's it, I guess. Yes. Nothing else. All right. So, I'm going to switch over to the new cloak, see what it looks like. There we go, which is... There it is. This is the geometric cape. It's really taking its time building it. It's kind of nice. It's a look, good-looking case. I don't like the, the threadbare look to it, It's but it's okay. Because you have other capes that are also that way. Like, the outlaw cape has also got a little threadbare look to it. Um, but the Whale Stalker was always a cool cape. The Fleet Commander, I used that for a good long time. The Titan Worm Cape was always really cool looking, especially with this color scheme that I've been using. But the Organic Frigate Cape has always been my favorite. Funny, right, seven and then nine. How interesting. Someone doesn't know how to count here. And there's your Tentacle Cape. Very, very interesting. I'm going to stick with the frigate cape for now, but probably what I'm going to end up doing is if I don't go with the Aeron turbojet, which just, I don't like the wings sticking out. The exotic one is always kind of cool. Streamlined is probably one of my favorite stuff. But for now, we're going to go with the retro and just keep it going. Like that. There we go. And that should do it for me. Now, one other thing I can do, and I just realized I don't think I have. Discord and Trail, yes. Discord and Trail, which looks like that. I really think that's a cool one. So. Alright, folks, so that should do it. So, we've turned in our mission. We are done with this particular episode. So, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you could, please. Especially the like if you like the video. And subscribe if you like the content, of course. Lots of videos out there, and I'll keep them coming. It's great to have you all here. Thank you very much for watching, and once again, we will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Everybody.